The armies of the undead are here to ravage the world of the living and add to their undead legion. What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle for you today. And this is a bit of a different one. As you can see here we have a undead horde here. And this is uh, able, you're able to get this by uh, adding the new world uh, undead submod. Which is available on the workshop. I'll also leave a link for it in the description if you want to try it out. Certainly a bit of a Halloween vibe, but as you can tell from the date, we are well past Halloween. We're almost a month. And um, so yeah, so I felt like uh, this this is the best time to bring it out. You know what? Coming up to Christmas, what a better time to add than have a spooky scary battle instead. But yeah, so we have uh, already got some Pontic Scythe Chariots here. Siving through these fodder. I'm guessing these are probably pretty trash, a bit like all gravel and dawn stays. They're pretty damn expendable. But I love the music. My gosh, the music sounds great. Um, it really does. Side chariots here. Just going stuff down. Hopefully, these guys will get plenty of kills. I mean, yeah. They should be able to get through all this fodder. I don't know how good it is, but I can imagine pretty trash. But on the defense today, we have Kemet. Uh, we have some Egyptian infantry actually standing outside the gate waiting. We have uh, Pontus as we are aware with their side charity. And then we have uh, an Amazon faction. I believe it's um, the Amazonian traditionalists. Um, so yeah, this should be really, really exciting to see how this one goes down. Oh my gosh, these side charities. How many kills are they up to now? 190 going upwards very quickly. This one's at 240. They're going to get some insane kills in this one, that is for sure. But yes, if you want to see more of these sort of like wacky uh, battles, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here, and a comment show your support. Great work from Genesis, the main dev on the New World like mod. He's done a great, great job. It's certainly a great idea to add in like for like a bit of a, a festive idea. Maybe we'll get a Christmas one. Maybe we'll have like evil Santas and elves and stuff like that. That'd be quite, quite fun. I do remember like um, Apollo many, many years ago doing that sort of thing uh, for medieval like seeing uh, like medieval two battles with like evil santas and stuff like that that'd be really cool if you could have something like that i imagine all the undead units as you can see fought it down to three out of 200 i feel like they must finish uh, they must fight to the death they don't they just have no sort of like morale issues and as you can see balance power is not looking good for the forces of evil uh, for the forces of good for the forces of the living <laughs> don't know where i'm going with i'm used to saying for dawnless days um but yeah the the, uh, the forces of the living, they are not looking great. Uh, maybe that's down to morale, I don't know, but there are some strange ass units here. We'll have a look at some of them. We've got Martyred Phalanx, which is like just a Phalanx unit. Uh, we've got more fodder here. One of the coolest units, more Martyred Phalanx. Mincers, oh, what are these guys? Oh, they're like uh, Falks or like Shock unit with a big axe. That's cool. And then we got these guys, which I've seen before, Abominations. Look at them, they're just giant, like, zombies. They're, like, horrific. I guess they're, like, supposed to, I don't know what they're supposed to be, but, yeah, they are an abomination. They're super heavy special. And then what we else got back here? Atrocities. They look horrifying. And we've got the Black Knights here. I think these are called, yeah. They look cool. I do like their shields. Looking very good with the, uh, the silver trim. What else have we got? We've got Butchers. I don't know what, like, the difference is between these units and but I mean, They're martyred phalanx. What are the butchers? Or mincers. Butchers, like, a sword unit down there. It's like, be pretty average. I had seen a heavy sword unit somewhere. There you go. The Fallen Legion. That sounds like a cool name. And I imagine they're going to be in the yeah, Legion armor. I like all the heads are too small to fit the helmet. So, <laughs> really, the helmet should just slide off the head. But they do not. Um, it looks like the side chariots are all dead. Um, sad. At least they get an, an early, an early death. They don't have to worry about the desperation later on. Seems like they've done a decent amount of damage, killed a good amount of zombies. Probably could have done with killing a few more off and better zombies. But who knows? Maybe the maybe the uh, defenders here will be able to put up a pretty strong, staunch defense. They haven't got things like pikes. Have the zombies, so maybe if the um, defenders have some pikes, that'd be pretty good. Got marines and stuff like that back here. We've got forget the US Marines, it's the Pontic Marines now that are gonna save the day. So, yeah, we've got some of them. And then, uh, yeah, seven, oh no, we've got the uh, bronze shield flange there. That's good, they got one. You're gonna need a few more than just the one. 
Hillman. I think they're just going to throw all their cheap stuff in first. Kemet's pretty good. Got some pretty good melee infantry. Egyptian infantry, though, not that great. Where is our elites? They got the Pharaonic Guard back here. They put gold chevrons on these guys. Jeez. They really splashed the cash. So that's going to be one of their last stand units, I imagine. They've got scorpions as well. We've actually got quite a lot of scorpions. Is this a fixed one? Oh, wow. That's... Shay, that's looking the wrong way. Amazonian scorpion fixed. It's looking the wrong way, unless they're planning to cover this entry point. But who knows? But yeah, I'm, I am certainly got to try out this, this submod. This is awesome. It really does. Looks like we're seeing a lot of uh, cab move over as well. Archers as well now firing. I don't know what I'd fire at, really, to be honest, if I was uh, the defenders. Like, I mean, I guess you shoot the more heavier stuff. Butchers here taking some pretty nasty hits. Can you kill a zombie really with a with a slingshot? I don't know if you can really. The fodder's coming forward first, as it should. It is fodder after all. I'm gonna try and flank here. Oh, I'm really excited to see how this goes down. I don't know about you guys. This looks interesting. Uh, this looks more like the zombie tactics I know and love. Just the blob formation. Blob up boys and then charge in. The Fallen Legion doing some strange for formation there. But yeah, here we go. Looks like the fodder finally going to go in. All their mis all these missiles are just absorbing right now. It's awesome. It really does. And in they go. And we'll see how they do in combat. I can't imagine they're going to get many kills. But let me know. Who do you think is going to win? Do you think it's going to be the force of good? I keep saying the forces of good. I mean the forces of the living. Or the undead forces. Well, Fodder are losing decisively, as we kind of expected. They are trash. Got some more of that so-called trash moving up. I don't know about what's coming behind. Martyr feet, uh, phalanx, immortals? Okay. I mean, I feel like they're all immortal anyway. They're just undead anyway. I guess they're an eastern looking. I mean, it's a pretty good name, like, so to give them. I mean, they already have the immortals in reality. But now, yeah, I mean, fair enough. Transfer it over to an eastern sort of style looking unit. It's a pretty nasty spear unit. You know, we've got the atrocities. They're a um, super heavy. Oh, the artillery? Technically? Oh my gosh, they throw. Okay, they're just a mobile artillery position. Okay, so they throw, like, massive. Stones. They're just basically an onager that's on legs. Okay, that's a cool idea. But here we go. We've got the uh, Amazonian Phalanx now engaged. It's the men of... Uh, these are the Hot Plate Sisters. I thought they were the men of Amazonia for a moment. Hold the line, sisters. Don't let these undead scum through. Yeah, we just got a bit more upbeat in the music right now as well. Here we go. Men of Amazonia on this side. The silver Chevron. Oh boy. I mean, these are elite troops, these men of Amazonia. They should hold for a while. And then we've got, what do we got coming up now? Martyr Phalanx. They are landing more towers over here. I don't know really if uh, zombies have organized to enough to land on towers or even you push towers up there you go got mincers there so that's, that's that's the uh, the shock inventory sort of buried there with their axes and phalanx uh falxes. they're getting ready looks like we're gonna see men of amazonia go onto the wall i don't know if that's a good idea whether they should just hold them back and put like maybe the naked swords up there would be pretty good and a uh in a charge we have actually got some naked swords down here and they're winning decisively they're killing off some fodder no surprise there, they win in that fight. Fodder are trash. But they're just weakening your units for the more elite units to come in later. They're actually retreating the uh, the naked swords. It's a shame that, like. Oh, there you go. In comes some uh, Celtic warriors. Very nice. It's a shame that. Um, like, if you kill a living guy, that he doesn't come back as an undead guy. That would be quite cool. Like, to keep up with that sort of, like, constant torrent of dead. 
That would be pretty cool. Or even if they regain like health, if you kill like one of them, you regain some health. That would be pretty cool. But maybe that's a little bit too unfair. Martyred Phalanx in there now. What else we got in there? More fodder. And the Phalanx, you just going up against each other. Makes sense, you know. What place does this seem like they're doing just fine, though? It seems very dark and spooky. I love it. I wonder if these guys are a, like a faction in. Um, well, it's a sub mod, I guess, so they might not be in the campaign, but I wonder if New World, they're in a. Um, in the New World campaign. Jory is pretty wacky. You've got Amazons, you've got. Vikings. You name it, it's in there. And in the Undead would not be, like, too surprising. They're really cycling out their Celtic Warriors as well. Kevin's actually throwing in some Egyptians. I don't think we want to cycle out too much, to be honest. I wonder what the what money was. I feel like the zombie unit is going to be pretty cheap. Maybe a bar like the Fallen Legion and a couple of the heavy units. I feel like they're all going to be fairly cheap because they're all pretty rubbish. You just rely on numbers. Oh, here you go. you got those goddamn atrocities over here. And they're hitting a lot of reserves. All these Egyptian infantry back here just getting hit. Nubian Bowman coming up. I think they're going to try and deal with those atrocities now. We've got the Nile Spearmen in there. They're forming square and they're dying. Kevin's not having a fun time right now. You'll occasionally just see like a, a stone ball whiz past and you'll know, oh, the atrocities are hit. I think, yeah, since the spears fall, uh, fall back, I'm going to see the Egyptian infantry go in. Clearly, this is a plan that every single player is going to try and use. is going to try and cycle out their units. Maybe they think they're going to get better charge bonuses or something against these undead. I really don't know, but they're really hitting these uh, Nubian Bowmen now and the Egyptian infantry back there. And it looks like on the walls, I imagine, yeah, the Mincers are losing. They're getting focused down actually by archers, really good. The men of the uh, men of Amazonia up here, spearing through these undead scum. Look awesome, really does. <laughs> this guy's just frozen here. He's stood up. I guess you would probably, like the units would just probably like, well, they're crumped to dust with some of them, but I guess some of them are just like kind of like they die and then just kind of like be in the stance yes, they are. Not any units wavering yet. That one was for a second, though, these Mercery Celtic Warriors. They were wavering for a second, but that would be the first unit that would be seen that's starting to die. Even Hillman seem like they're doing relatively well. Hillman, yeah, 66 kills, not bad. How many kills do these uh, Celts got here? 139, that's not bad. Naked swords going in. Oh, it's because the mincers are down here. They've got their own shock entry down here. It's not really making much in the way of progress right now, but that's expected, I think. This first wave is never supposed to be uh, too scary. It's supposed to just soften up the defenses. But remember, the balance power is way in favor of the uh, attackers. They're expecting to uh, struggle early on, I think. It's made, you know what? It's made even worse that the Amazons are currently constantly scream at everything. My gosh, they're really piling in these men of Amazonia just to hold the line here. Amazon seems to have brought a very elite army. Very small, but very elite. They've got some cav back there as well. Don't know how good cav's going to be against a torrential horde of men. Like I said, I feel like pikes would have been a great shout because it doesn't look like they have much in the way of archers, if any. I don't think, like, zombies archers are really a thing. So, I mean, you could just stand in a choke point with pikes and you could probably just spear down every single last one of them. They've got the general for Pontus as a pike unit, but that's it. I feel like someone else should have brought a pike or two. Well, maybe the players decided that was a little bit too unfair to do that. Who knows? This guy here is probably in a bit of trouble. Oh, join the undead horde, sir. Understood. 
I'd have thought most of these units have scare abilities or something like that. That would be quite cool as well if that was the thing. Because, I mean, you are fighting a literal zombie. Not many people can be quite comfortable with that. All of the lines are pretty well. These, I mean, these men of Amazonia, they're winning decisively. How many kills have they got? 104. Like, not as many as I thought, then. What about the other Amazon units over here that have like, been engaged since the start? 42 for that one. Oh, Bites is getting 63. Sort of fast and effective way to kill stuff, but they're holding stuff back. Hillman is starting to die. Pontus is kind of burning through a few troops now. A little bit worrying. Oh no, his chariots survived. His chariots are very much alive, actually. I thought they were dead. 300, 400 kills. Jeez, yeah. I don't think they've got much that they can count these chariots with. Have the zombies. I mean, they got the spears and stuff, which I guess could be probably a problem. Maybe those big, heavy, like, abomination and atrocity things. They might do some damage. And I guess the cav as well could counter it. But yeah, most of the infantry, I imagine, is sword infantry. Pretty much just get mown down by the, uh... By the, by the chariots. This is a pretty long battle, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I definitely get yourself some snacks, get yourself some drinks, and prepare to see who wins this one. Slowly but slowly. Slowly but surely is what I meant to say. I hope my sisters are starting to die. They're going to need reinforcements. There's less than 100 of them left now. We've got fallen legion already being thrown in. So they're already throwing in some very heavy infantry. Well, that has certainly made a difference in the, in the fight down here. You can see them fighting away here with the Celts. Maybe these are Romans that the Celts cut down in another lifetime. Now they've risen up to take on their ancestors. Yeah, they seem to be winning decisively in this fight here. Naked swords can shoot up. The immortals as well come up. There's some elite stuff coming up down to show more fallen legion. Yeah, retreat those naked swords. They're not doing too great. A lot of them getting cut down there. In go. Lo looks like Marines going in. Don't know how they're going to really fare much better. We've got the uh, the slingshots being fired. I don't know where that's from. Oh, back there, Eastern Slingers. They could do getting onto the wall. It'd be cool if it was like a biting animation or something zombies. Just like trying to bite like limbs and necks and whatever of the living. And in go the naked swords once again. The death will try and hold this line. They're going to try and get through these uh, mortals here. They're a double-handed spoon, I just realized. So I guess they're, they're not really pikes. So yeah, no, it's not that long, but it's kind of an interesting sort of style, like, weapon to go with. This Fallen Legion is getting cycle charged right now by naked swords. It doesn't seem like it's working, really. Like I said, they could really do with getting those things up onto the wall, firing into the back of these Fallen Legion. I can't imagine they much in the way missile block. Um, let's actually have a look. Because they have no shield, so like, they, they're just holding a sword, dude. As you come on. Uh, duh, duh, duh. armor is 70, speed 2. They have actually have ammunition as well, hilarious. Base, yeah, base morale a thousand, jeez. Yeah, I don't think they really have any missile block. They're still holding here, though. Oh, the forces of good. Forces of good. Forces of the living. The li well, I guess they are good. Undead is never good. Is never going to be a good thing, is it? It's always going to be bad. A 
The hoplite lot walls for the uh, Amazons are holding right now. You can do it just about. Kemet, let's have a look at Kevin again. How he's how is he doing? He's holding. I feel like he's taking a bit more attrition than most. It's like mediums. Just really struggling. His lower tier stuff is just not as good as some of the other low tier stuff. Available it's like Pontus. Yeah, and the Amazons like as well just have some pretty solid lower tier stuff. But it's, like I said, I don't think they've really gone with the Lotus. They went straight for high tier and that was it. Yes, Commander. Yeah, just a lot of Silver Chevron men of Amazonia over here. I mean, they're doing pretty well. They're holding everything back so far. And that one's on 70 kills. The problem is they don't get many kills. Maybe, I mean, if they could have, I don't think they can. I don't think every uh, Amazon faction can. They could have brought Amazonian legionaries. They would have been good to bring. They're cheap and effective. Fallen Legion's starting to die though. So are the Immortals. There's another scorpion here. It seems like every side's really like wanted to bring a scorpion. I don't know if they're gonna be super good against the undead hordes, but maybe they will be. Maybe they're used gonna be used to try to take out these like abominations and things like that. Anyway, Kemet's still in in the fight over here. This guy's got like a rusty old sword. What's up with him? Sana Waver, these Nile Spearmen. I don't know if they've killed any single undead units. I'm, I'm sure they have. They basically killed a lot of units. Abomination's going in! Given what they got stampede, so it's gonna be like an elephant sort of thing. It's gonna go straight in, trying to do some damage. Yeah, they're just running straight through. You can see here, Mercer Kelly. Warriors retreating the Marines coming up to try and deal with these abominations. They're just running straight through enemy lines. I don't know what they're going after. Oh, they're gonna go after like um, archers, maybe, it looks like. Not a bad idea. Maybe the arches are the only thing they fear. Oh my gosh, these arches are wavering straight away. My gosh. That's scary. I mean, to be fair, if you're getting whacked by something that's like double your size if, and a bit more. Oh my gosh. Don't know if that really works. The animation, but there you go. They broke those uh, Celtic Warriors as well. Oh, these guys are out of control. No surprise. Amazonian Arch is going into combat. Don't know if this is a wise idea. Unless they're out of ammo. They are getting shot at. And the line's still holding at the moment just about. There's Marines and other stuff still holding this line. Got uh, men of Amazonia going in there. Really, this is now is the time for the uh, forces of evil, the undead forces, to just start rushing in. These abominations are still healthy. My God, I know they have some insane stats. Let's have a look at their very, very nice stats. Yeah, 104 melee attack, 60 weapon damage, charge bonus 44. Armor 80, health 1,850, base round 1,001. They are starting to die now, but my gosh, they got some pretty good, pretty good stats. Yeah, down now, 8 out of 4 now. Oh, 8 out of 4, 8 out of 14, that's what I meant to say. They cause problems. And I wonder what they'll be like later in the, uh, in the battle, when like ammo's short in supply.
Oh yeah, they're dying quickly. Javis and Dash is just killing them off pretty easily. I like the one with the massive helmet. It looks very eerie. Jeez, there you go. Javi to death. And there you go. Abominations dealt with. Back now to the normal line fight. Men of Amazon, they're holding. 169 kills, doing very well. Got a general setting up over here, Fallen Legion. I don't know if it's really going to affect them if they lose their general either. Because they're all undead, they all have like over a thousand morale. Martyred Phalanx in here, they're kind of getting outflanked and killed. Naked Swords, I guess, do pretty well against, uh, like, Phalanx units, but there you go, they're retreating. I think they're all just generally going to retreat. They, they, oh, yeah, because they've broken through here. Oh, my. Abominations through, along with Mincers, have broken through now, have Cab being thrown in here. Looks like these men of Amazonia are going to maybe hold the line, I don't know. Ponce is trying to get what he can out. It's not looking good though. It's not looking good now. They've broken through his first line. Kemi needs to start getting troops back. Just get boys out of there. Oh, there's so much more back here. Or maybe Kemi's already been retreating stuff. I think they have been. This isn't just like additional stuff. This is stuff that's been retreating. Oh, it's died and re-rallied. Jeez. Yeah, this is uh, looking a bit dicey. Is the balance power hasn't changed or anything like that? And nearly all the forces of the undead are inside, nearly. There's a few more out here, a few more mincers. We've got some abominations, or some atrocities in fact, out here. This funky looking unit that just throws uh, literal rocks at people. There you go, Marines gone. They have 88 men left. That would have been a good amount of men to try and hold on to. Some more Marines over here being held back. Like I said, a couple of pike units and they'd be okay for that final defense. The Marines certainly are not faring well here. These Falcon or these mints, I should say, are cutting through them like a hot knife through butter. And the, uh, the chariots, I don't know where they're going to use them, but they're hard to maneuver them in these streets. That is for sure. I, but I mean, uh, hmm. I was gonna say at least I can maybe get out of here, but it doesn't really matter because there's nothing out there for them to kill. Shane isn't like a unique general or something. I feel like you could like add just like some like vampire count or something like that, like raising his armies of the undead. Quite cool. Maybe I'm thinking a bit too Warhammerish. That's just what I was thinking of. Looks like the final defense down here is going to be a Nubian bow unit and a uh, like Nile spear. The bowmen don't even have ammo. That is a shame. Looks as though these martyred phalanxmen are just going to go straight on in. I feel like you could have got these spears out there, even if it's a tiny little unit. You could have got it out. Or maybe they're just going to try and use it to uh, get extra tower kills. They run so slow, which is hilarious. Like in COD, it, it would be really cool if you had like um, fast-moving zombies, like the ones that like they're just the ones that just sprint at you. That that would be really cool if that was like a unit. Like maybe just give them like a knife or something in Total War, and then just like have give them like incredible speed, but like pretty terrible like. Um, I don't know, melee defense and just generally stats are just really, really quick. Because that would be 
pretty much, that would be terrifying. If you had that. I mean, those units just like running at you in total war. Just like you're just getting rushed constantly. But you'd be like, ah, we can hold. We can deal with these guys. And there you go. The spears are de dealt with by the looks of it. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut until the undead make an assault in this final position or anything interesting happens between now and then. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, we are back to it. And the mincers are in against looks like the men of Amazonia once again. I'll have to see how they do in this one. Looks like they're doing okay for now. I feel like they will uh, eventually tire. I feel like normal shocking machine eventually will start to die. What's going on? Control of budgers. I've not seen these guys in action yet before. Let's have a look at their stats. See what they have to offer. Not really that much. They're just a medium shot, uh, like sword infantry. A little more than stuff in meat suits and weapons. Some resurrected corpse to fall. Retain a modicum of their killing prowess. Okay, so they're actually like you know got some decent melee stats. But they did just try and pull through there. Um, I think maybe they were going after the uh, the other unit that's broken, the Amazonian archers, but still. Be aware, boys. So now these hoplite sisters are dying pretty quickly, they shouldn't really be. But I guess, I don't know, it's zombie tactics, I guess it maybe would. But in this, in this game, where they like massively outnumber, or like, and have the, um, and have all the, uh, the, you know, everything's with them, I feel like it's only fair that they just, you know, don't pull through. Good to see a rally being popped. That's a good idea this time in the game. There is Cav out here waiting patiently, along with all these chariots that are still up here alive, waiting patiently. Don't know what they're gonna go for. But we'll see. I'd be interested to see what happens if they kill a general. I think they're they're aware that these um, chariots over here, the immortals are waiting. The abominations are over here as well. Gosh. I don't want to see them go into the uh, choke point over here. It's going to be nasty. Got some naked swords still on the front line trying to deal with these mincers. I like how the um, the mincers are just generally all of the uh, zombie units. They spurt blood when they die. Like, there would be no blood left in their, in their body. They're all dried out. I guess it's just something in Rome 2 you just can't uh, alter. Minces, yeah. Minces and Phalanxmen in there. Good position to have them. I mean, we're on Tarsus and it's a good map to be on because you can just, yeah, set up your bowmen up here. And you can shoot into all these choke points down there and get some pretty good shots. And they're shooting the, abo uh, the atrocities right now, which is not a bad idea. I don't know if these guys can go out of control. Yeah, they're just throwing, like, literal rocks. Do it again, I dare you. Or not. Oh. If I zoom on them and just stay here, I bet they won't fire another shot. If I was here for the entire game. It's only when I move and look away that you start to throw your rocks. Fire is really good against the uh, zombies. That would be a bit more like Game of Thrones if like fire was the really effect get against the undead. Egyptian infantry really struggling though in these fights. They've not actually had a, a, a fight where they've actually done okay in. Cav went for a bit of a charge on the mincers. Don't know how effective that really was. Seemed like they lost a fair few cavalry. And the abominations are running in. Oh my gosh, look how quick they run. That's scary. Scary stuff. What's this? Impalers? I don't know if we've seen this unit. Just a medium spear unit. Still kind of cool. Still finding a few odd units here that we have not seen yet. Yeah, kind of running out of troops though, actually, are the undead. 
thing is, they still have their little, like, their, like, nasty stuff, like the abominations and stuff. And every single unit will fight to the death. So even though they're running out of units, it doesn't really matter. They can just keep throwing themselves against the fight and they'll just leave them there. Like, the micro is great. Jeez, they're trying to jab these guys up as much as possible. Like, missiles is going to be the best way to kill a lot of these guys. When... You just when you need a machine gun, this is right now. I mean, they are trying to machine gun down these uh, these guys right now. I wonder if Pergamon would have been a good faction to have because they have also have lots of jabbies. Like the Gamma Spears, you bring them. Just keep jabbing into stuff. Are they going to flank around? Oh, they are now. Here we go. Abominations going in. And the mincers. As I said, there is another flank over here that they could obviously thread. And marines here and helmet and some naked swords. So they got some decent stuff there to hold the line. God, these units are horrible to look at. Disgusting. Only a phase of mother could love these, all these undead have. Just got the one pike unit back here as well. I'm just very nervous by that. This unit's going to be overworked. And I mean overwork. There's no way that this unit is like going to be able to hold all these positions at once. I'll have to retreat up there. Use that as a defense. I just realized that they used the, uh, the blister over here. Did it just get destroyed? Honestly, don't know. They might have used it. They might not have. I'm pretty sure they didn't. The chariots are down behind though. I feel this one's more banged up than before. Has it been in for charge? Oh, it has. It went into the Immortals here and kind of got messed up. Jeez, yeah. Definitely do not charge Immortals. I mean, what are they going to go in for here? More Immortals? Don't do that. Go for the Black Knights. Or, yeah, or... I think we should, what they're going to do, they're going to try and recharge all these, like, mints and things up here. Which could be huge. Fight on, men! Don't give in. Oh, we've got Spears trying to rush up and trying to, I think, block that choke point there. Side chariots here. I mean, I just get in there before they set up a former bit of a wall. Could they fire with their archers and just shoot into the side of these immortals? But they can't have much in the way of missile block. Especially when they're holding just a, just a spear. The other chariot unit over here has been doing some work. Yeah, other chariot unit over here has been killing these mincers, but it doesn't seem like it's been too effective. 592 kills, though. It's doing very well. Oh, very nicely done. The bronze shield phalanges of here just destroying these abominations. They lost a couple of pikemen, but not many, and that's really good. Yeah, 61 kills for the abominations. Six kills for the phalanges, but my gosh, really important kills. Endless horde of dead men. I guess the objective for the uh, defenders now is just to hold. They're gonna just hold, like for the uh, the time, uh, uh, like aside. Then they could win. I guess that's the only way they're gonna win. A 
I can't see them otherwise defeating them in like strength of arms. It's not possible. There's too many of them. The chariot over here is doing okay. I wonder if elephants would have been pretty good against um, undead. I feel like they could have done pretty well. There's not that much stuff that could like send them out of control. Oh, we got more of these abomination. Oh, there's the atrocities going in now. I don't think they're going to be too good in melee because they're like technically a field artillery unit, but who knows? Yeah, melee attack 12. They are not good in melee. They're just big and scary. Pike unit over here is now being moved. I guess the rear flank is nothing to worry about anymore. The uh, scorpion blister is starting to fire now as well. I think he's maybe shooting generals, but I'm honestly not sure. I'd be shooting generals. Yeah, he's trying to snipe the fallen legion. It's not going to get many killed, or the martyred phalanx, in fact. This general comes around the flank here, the black knights. We can do a decent amount of damage. This Amazonian royal cab is pretty solid. It uh, looks like they are retreating more and more stuff up here, by the way. Um, just edging a few things up. I don't, I don't know if they're just being pessimistic and just thinking, well, in case we do start to die, we need to have something to retreat back on. Oh, once your phalangites are out of, like, pike formation. There you go. All of a sudden, they just pop out of nowhere, out of their pockets, and they're back to business. Start poking away, boys. They lost a fair few, they nearly, they've lost like 20 pikes, it's not bad. Looks like they're going to retreat their um, undead units. I feel like if they're undead, they should have a bit more out of control themselves. I was there in combat, I feel like you can't really just tell like an undead unit to, uh, to pull out. It'd be pretty hard, they just fight to the death. But who am I to criticize? It's a great submod, I do love it. Oh, flying giant stone reform. That's the worst thing they could do right now. It's just fiddling around with them. They were fine where they were. The men of Amazonia over here, or should I call them the heroes of Amazonia really? They're doing a cracking job. I'm interested to see what the kill count's going to be for some of these uh, like units. They're going to have some incredible kill counts. Especially those chariots. I mean, men of them is only 254 kills. It's not too shabby either. So we've got those scythe chariots just dotted about. It's been kept an eye on. It looks like they're drawing away speed just to have a look. Just to keep an eye on them. But I mean, that's fine. Just less, uh, less dead troops that can go to the front lines. That's far, I think, shifted ever so slightly to the forces of living. Kemet now in there. His Egyptian, his Egyptian infantry has just not done a lot, in my opinion. They seem to have lost most of the fights they've been fighting in. As soon as we get push, getting pushed back here again. These minces are just a little too strong for them. Yeah, losing decisively. Yeah, it's just going to be that Ferenic guard that's going to be the real, like, heavy hitter. Is there with gold chevrons? Yeah, that's going to be the big heavy hitter. Maybe the Impalers can form, like, some sort of phalanx with their, with their uh, like, spears or something. Let's see. No, they can't do anything that impressive. Getting hit by slingers. 
these impalers. I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference, but Ponce has stacked a large chunk of his army just there in that choke point. To fair, Ponce actually has a decent amount of his army left. Yep, we just gotta hold. I just gotta hold. And once the uh, if they ever do break through the armies of undead, look what they've got to wait for. Them. Just more and more Kemet troops. They're just gonna jab it away. The Nile spears. They'll just jab it away through. We're on a guard doing just that now. One of my favourite looking units. I've got to say, in New World, they really do look good. The shields are so well done. Like oh. It's excellent, it really does. Wavering though, that Kemet sword unit. How are the pikes doing? They must be doing pretty well. And they got nothing to stop them, that's the thing. Yeah, over here is 108 kills. And more importantly, they're just scaring them off. Scaring off the uh, the undead. I wouldn't really be bothered, I'd just throw my men in. End of the day, they're just undead. Their lives don't matter. This is going to be a problem here for like... If you ever play the Undead Faction, you've got no pikes, or well, it seems like you have no pikes. Not going to be able to, uh, to break through that pike line, so bring in like a Hellenic Faction with some good pikes, and then just putting in like the final choke point. That could be all it takes to stop the zombie horde. Credit to the Egyptians though, they may be doing trash and fighting and they're about to break there, but they fight hard, they don't give in. There's a whole cocktail of troops in here now. Pontus, well all three armies are in here, in some form or another. We are now seeing like an attack on this side here, looks like Pontus gave a little bit of ground to try and uh, Bait in these fallen legion, which are starting to die a little bit, getting some flanking jabby shots. Mostly naked swords are winning this fight here against the, uh, the spearmen. The immortals here proving they're not so immortal. They're dying. And they're just trying to break through now. They're trying to pull through. It looked like a little bit there. I'm not sure. Got another Pharaonic Guard General here. Oh my gosh. All the chevrons on these guys. They're going to be impossible to beat. But this is it. This is really all the, uh, the undead have left now. It is kind of close. I think it's going to come down to time before it comes down to anything else. You've got to push forward, kill these uh, immortals chariots while you can. They're moving, just... Nope. He's being... At least he's being attentive. If Pontus loses his general, though, could be game over there for Pontus. He's got a lot of troops left. He's probably got more than it, more than most players. There's a sea of light blue down here, holding back. Sea of Grey. Well, plenty of reserves. I mean, you've got Eastern Slings that are routing there. At 100 men, they routed. 
It's not a good sign. They need to send in some fresh troops. There we go. Side chariot going in against a sword unit. We managed to find a mince unit if you go after this. A weak chariot unit anyway, so it probably won't matter. And as you can see, it's just got stuck. It's just not moving. And it's going to get chopped down here, I imagine, by these big angry axemen. They even make a swing for it, that is. Yeah, there you go. Killed one, and the other one's gone. Yeah, by the, by the general there. Well done. See, side chariots still out here. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on them because they're going to have to do something. They're going to have to do something. They're going to have to try and find a way through. I mean, if that other side chariot unit found a way through to those mincers, I'm sure they could find a way through. And there's 11 of them left, so they could do a good amount of damage. Pikes on edge, killing legionaries off easily. It's full of legion. They mean nothing to the pikes. Poke it away, boys. Looks like they're kind of breaking through, though. Oh, yeah, there are really aren't many of these bronze shield phalangites left. They could definitely just sweep through here. They're doing well. There's 42 of them left. I don't know how many kills they've got, but they've done a good job. 132. Yeah, they just need to sweep on through. And they have got reserves in these Nile, uh, Nile Spearmen and in the men of Amazonia. I already also just want to see the Pharaonic Guard games action. There's some boats in here, it's probably not a good idea. Put one out and... Well, they have more Pharaonic Guard than I thought. They have at least three then. I thought they had maybe yes, just, a, on. just a one or two. Oh. Flying into buildings. That's how accidents happen. But yeah, it'd be good to see if they could get the Pharaonic Guard could get some kills. Them with their big like curved swords, which I don't know the name for, but they'll carve through the zombies, I'm sure. Yeah, there's apparently just about a minute left in this replay now, so unless the zombies are gonna smash their way through anytime soon, it looks like the forces of the living are gonna hold Tarsus. But still, it's been a good fight from both sides. Baton's power is still way in favor of the forces of evil. The undead. Hold the line, men! I just want to see one more chariot charge. That would be pretty cool. Kemet cycling out his pharaonic guard. Making sure they just don't get too tired, I guess. Which is kind of what the uh, the immortals get into. Is there another pike you know of it? Oh no, this is, I think, the same one. I think that was Ponce's general. It's just uh, broken. I'm not sure. Must be. I was trying to see if I could get it, but it just keeps wanting to show me immortals. Get off, I don't want that. Just hold for like another 20 seconds. Don't let these evil undead men in. Front of God, right in the front line now. Beating these guys decisively. This Fallen Legion can't mess around with a Phonic Guard, it seems. And there you go. A costly victory for the uh, Amazons and their allies. Here's one in the replay. Now, a quick look at the end results. So, yeah, it was the traditionalists. Um, so, this was sent in by, uh, by Decibel from uh, his perspective. Uh, it's a really, really cool battle. I really enjoyed it, uh, you know. Um, yeah, it was a very, very fun one to watch. Very different sort of thing. And nice to show off the undead horde uh, and see some of their units. But we'll quickly have a look at the kills. So we've got market, marketable uh, skills up here. Playing as Pontus, getting nearly 600 kills with his side chariots in this one unit alone. This one got 
434. He's general getting 136 kills. 130 kills is Marines, 150 here, 211 with the Celtic Warriors. Uh, and then we've got like the Naked Swords down here getting 200 kills. Then we have Mo playing as uh, Kemet getting uh, not many kills with like his uh, Foreigner Guard. I mean, actually, these guys are healthy getting 120 kills. Very impressive, actually, um, down here. His Nile Spearman getting 156. His Egyptian Infantry, even though they were dying, I felt like, still got 297 kills, 245. Didn't feel like I ever saw them winning a fight. Uh, and then his archers getting 59 kills and decibel, playing as the traditionalist. 314 kills with the men of Amazonia, 293 with another. I mean, they all got over 200. Very nice. 155 with the Hoplite sisters. Uh, archers getting 95 kills. And then his general getting 100, uh, getting 77 kills. Then we have Darkspawn, playing as one of the undead horde. I mean, one of his immortals getting 309 kills. That's, wow, that is impressive. 132 with the atrocities here is very good. Abomination's not doing so great, getting 61 kills. 170 with the Fallen Legions. Yeah, a lot of these fodder getting nothing. And then 265 with the Mincers. Very, very nice. And then we've got War Elephant. Uh, getting 222 kills with the atrocities. Again, the Abomination's kind of struggling. But, I mean, it is a small unit, I guess. That is the difference. Um, 122 kills with the Immortals. 314 with his Fallen Legion, and they're still healthy. Uh, and then he's got his Mincer did relatively well. 104, 139. Some decent kills there and then we have Dade playing as um as the final undead horde he actually got very good kills with his abominations 135 kills uh then 126 with his martyred phalanx general mince is getting 196 kills um uh, his butch is getting 238 his um martyred phalanx on here getting nothing that insane and paley is getting 126 kills as well though so some pretty reasonable kills there for all the players so well, well done to the defenders and holding on and stopping the undead horde uh, maybe they will return another day but for now there will be peace in tarsus i hope you guys did enjoy if you did do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and a comment show support and i'll see you guys in the next one